Hi everyone, this is Renvas. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, so while loop. See, so when we go with while loop instead of for loop, we already discussed in the introduction part. If we know the range, how many times you need to repeat the loop, right? How many iterations you want? If you know exactly where to start and where to end, then we can go with the for loop. If we don't know how many repetitions are present. Suppose, if I want to count how many digits in the given number, right? So, how many digits are present in the given number that we cannot guess. I just want to read the input means what a file character by character. But how many characters are present? So we don't know. I just want to display all records which are present in the database table. But how many records are present in database table? So we don't know. Right in these cases, so we can go with the while loop. So today we'll see most examples on while loops in this playlist. Okay. So first of all, so while loop how can we define means a simple syntax. Simple syntax while is so we need to specify the condition here. If the given condition is valid, then so whatever the statements a block of statements what you define execute execute until this condition is valid this block gets execute how many times will it execute one time no right see with the flow you can understand start here this condition we have two options if the condition is valid and if the condition is invalid, suppose if the condition is valid, then so whatever the block you define, the block gets execute. All statements execute. After execution of statements, it will not, it will not go to end. Again, it will iterate. Again, it will go and check the condition. Again, if the condition is valid, Again, statements execute and again iteration until it is false. When it is a false, then it will go to end. It will go to end. This is the syntax and this is the flow. How that while loop executes. We'll see n number of examples on digits first. And using the while loop, menu driven examples also we will discuss. Before going to work with the digits, Count the number of digits, sum of the digits in the given number, palindrome number, strong number, Armstrong number, Adam number, lucky number. Right? To understand all these programs, you should be good at two simple concepts which we already discussed in basic programming. So what are the two? It's very simple. Whenever they have they have given one number, the two points you need to understand. The two points, just how to get the last digit from the given number. 365, I am dividing with the value 10. How many times? 36 times, it's 360. And the remainder is 5. Remainder is 5. So when you will get 36 and when you will get 5. 5 means you are getting the last digit. 36 means you removed that last digit. So... If you want to get the last digit, the given number, perform mod operation with the 10. Reminder, so you will get the reminder, last digit you will get. That you can collect into any variable and you can perform the operations. Next one, I just want to remove this last digit. How to remove this last digit? Again, simple thing, see. Here, you will get the quotient. How I will get the quotient? Here, n by 10. Division operator always returns the quotient. Reminder operator always returns the reminder, mod operator. So that you can collect. Suppose into n, if you take n value, 365 become 36. This is how we are getting the last digit from the given number and this is how we remove the last digit from the given number. These two are very very important to work with the while loop programs, nothing but to work with the digit based programs. Hope you understood. Please practice. Thank you.